Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, 112 scale uh, four wheel drive RC truck. It's called the Piranha. It's really, really cool. I really, really like this truck a lot. This is made by PX Toys. It's the PX Toys uh, 9200 is this one. There's a few other versions, the 9202 and the 9203. This basically the same body uh, or style with just different bodies on it. But this is a really, really nice truck and it's not really expensive. Um, it's just really well built. I'm super impressed with this truck. I didn't really know what to expect. I've been wanting to try out a, a PX Toys for a while and I thought this one really looked really badass. <laughs> it is really, really cool. So we'll take a look at that. You can see the box just has a nice neat diagram, a lot of information on the box. Um, so you know, it's kind of cool whenever they go take a little extra time to do that. Um, let's take a look at the truck now. Um, this, the body I think is really cool. I love the black and silver with the yellow. Um, just really sharp looking, you know, Lexan body. Um, got nice rubber tires here. Um, you know, it's just really, really well, ma well made uh, four wheel drive vehicle. That I think, you know, I think it's like seventy dollars, or I mean, it's not a lot. It's it is not a lot. It's somewhere around there. So what you get for this is a ton. Cause let me show you underneath here. I already have that. That's why the body keeps popping off. I have the cotter pins off. First of all, it uses a 540 size brush motor. You do not see 540 brush motors very often in a 112 scale, especially for something that's well under $100. So I was really impressed with that. So that's going to give it a lot more power and more speed. Um, but it has, you know, just well composite, you know, nice composite plastics on it, and it uses metal dog bones here in the front and the back. Like I said, of course, it's four-wheel drive. It's got a metal plate here on the bottom. You know, it uses a lot of high-quality components. Um, I didn't pop the wheels off, but I'm pretty sure it's got full ball bearings in it. But the thing I didn't know that I noticed that I didn't see in instructions, and I, as soon as I took a look, and if you're into cars, you probably will notice this too. Um, take a look at these shocks. Like, well, these shocks, they don't look like just spring shocks. These look like oil-filled shocks. So I thought, you know what, I gotta take these off and look. So I took them off and well, I'll be damned, they are oil-filled shocks on a truck at this price. Now, there wasn't a lot of oil in them, so I added some more, and all I had was some really lightweight, uh, soft Tamiya oil, so the shocks may be too springy now. So, you know, that's you know they were pretty sluggish. Uh, they had very little oil, so I was kind of disappointed how sluggish they are. So if you get this, you might want to add some oil. Just the weight of the oil is going to probably, you know, it's going to affect, you know, how uh, springy the shocks are. But, yeah, oil-filled shocks on a truck you know it's somewhere in 60 to 70 dollar price range um hey you can't beat that seems to have a nice uh, high torque servo here um, it's got the esc and receiver all built into one here next to where my thumb is uses a dean's connector so a nice you know high quality connector i'm um, not one of the old tamayas or something like that so just this is really really nice i think it's rated at uh, since it's on the box i think it says a speed 40 uh, plus kilometers per hour. So somewhere in the 20 mile per hour range if you're uh, using an imperial system. And I believe it, I think it goes around there. It's just, this is really, really nice. Like I said, I'm, the 540 brush motor and the oil filled shocks are a big bonus to me, a really big bonus. And you could probably swap this out to a different brush motor. I wouldn't go too low of turns because I don't know how, how, you know, how low of turns uh, you know, the built-in ESC could handle. Probably not a whole lot. And he, this would not probably not be too hard to upgrade this to brushless, assuming that the gears can handle it. That would be my concern. Of course, you'd, you'd probably have to swap out uh, to a, a third-party receiver uh, to, to go brushless on it. So, like I said, really nice. Uh, the nice shocks, the tires, and all that. So, let's look at the uh, the battery. It comes with a, with a lithium-ion. It's a 1500 milliamp, um, 15C. So, a nice, you know, battery and you could certainly throw a lipo in here if you wanted to get a little bit more kick if you got one that'll fit here it just fits over here in the bay and plugs right in it doesn't come with a lot of accessories it just comes with a balanced port charger that off, goes off the usb and some extra body pins i mean the instruction manual says it takes three and a half hours to charge i would say it's probably right going to be in that range as you can tell i didn't even take this out because i just used my hobby grade charger since it's a dean's plug and uh you know, I was able to charge it up in like 30 minutes. Or actually, it came, it came with a lot of charge in it, so it was way less than that. It didn't come with a balanced charge, which is kind of odd. That's not good, but um, I don't think the battery will be damaged. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it's not going to take very long with a hobby grade charger to charge that up. Let's go over the controller. The controller is quite nice. It's got the foam grip, which I'm always a fan of. You know, it's got your Ford and your Verse here. Oh, how many batteries does it take? It takes three AA batteries. Uh, you've got your uh, steering trim and your throttle trim. You can reduce it down if you, just don't, want, if you don't want to go too fast at first or if you want a kid to use it. And uh, it's got a, you know, your rate, your steering rate here, which is how much you want it to turn, which I've got it set to max. Um, if you want to make it turn a little less, especially for a kid, you can reduce that. So pretty basic on that, but I said overall with the truck itself, I think the truck is excellent. Oh, another thing I wanted to go over, I did not mention, it's very cool, is the front white LEDs that are located here in the bumper. So when you put the body on it, it looks really cool with those white LEDs. You'll see it here in a moment when we run it. So this is a really cool truck. Like I said, I'm really impressed. You know, my favorite truck I had at this size was the HBX uh, Ground Crusher, and I think I like this even better. Ground Crusher doesn't have oil-filled shocks and only has a 390 motor. Uh, this one's a little bit more than that, and wow, this has got cool stuff for the price. So I'm going to go ahead now, we'll move along now to the driver view. Okay guys, so I've got the truck all bound up as you can see here with the controller, so it's ready for a test drive. A few things I did not mention, um, I did not mention the uh, drive time. I didn't get an exact drive time on this. Um, you know, I just briefly ran it around the house because you know, we've been below freezing for uh, you know, single digit highs and stuff for the last two weeks. So this is the first, you know, the first full day above freezing today to really get out. You know, I wish I had some snow on the ground to drive this in. If I get, we get some here coming up, I'll try to get the truck out in it. But, you know, I'm guessing somewhere in the 10 to 15 minute range. It's going to be the drive time on it. Now here are those white LEDs. Hopefully you can see that. Really, really cool. Um, it does have fully proportional steering and throttle. So you can give it a little bit of gas or a lot. So obviously, you know, that's pretty much implied on something. This, this is not super cheap toy grade or anything. This is, this to me is borderline hobby grade considering the, uh, the quality of it. it. Looks like the steering might need to be slightly trimmed up just by going by what it looks like here. Just looking at it. Let's go ahead and take it out now for a test drive. That's full speed. Brakes pretty nicely. It's like, like I said, it's not super fast. It's awfully quiet though. I mean, I like that. It doesn't sound like it's, uh, you know, grinding gears or anything. Whoa, cool. <laughs> like I said, this, I, I, added, I filled up the shocks. So, uh, you know, they may be a little bit too springy now. Um, I didn't have enough of the harder weight, you know, I call it hard, but the heavier weight oils, that would have certainly made it uh, less bouncy. Uh, because it, you can adjust the tension on the springs if they're all the way up. If I put them down more, it's gonna be even bouncier, so. The power, oh, very nice trump. Not, not, not to me. Not, it's not unexpected at all. There, that it's got quite a bit of power going through the grass. I mean, this is these 540 motors are what we always used in the cars back in the 80s and into the 90s. These just cheap brushed 540 motors, and they're actually pretty good motors. A lot of power with you know, decent speed. Especially now that we're moving away from the nickel cadmiums and into these lithium ions and lipos, you're getting better speed than you would on those. Especially more torque and more acceleration. Yeah, really nice. So I wish I had a little better place to, to test drive this so we could get some jumps and stuff, but all the houses out here are finished, so there's really not any construction or rock piles or anything like I've had in the past. Whoa! I handle that with no problem. I mean, it's like I said, it's really well built. I'm really, really impressed with the build quality of this. So, I mean, my initial impressions are really good for uh, for this brand. Really, really good. I keep on wanting to call it GP toys. There's several different manufacturers that have different you know very similar names but it's, it's if i say that you know it's it's px toys but i keep sometimes in my head i want to say gp toys <laughs> whoa flipped over 
So you could probably reduce the steering range a little bit. That would probably help with that. But I like to have the tight steering when you need it. I believe it said the control distance. I thought it said it was 100 meters. I mean, more than you're going to, you know, more than enough. Yeah, I'd say it's probably around, yeah, 20 miles an hour, maybe somewhere in that range. And I think it's, you know, the box is fairly accurate. Like I said, not super fast but not slow, especially for this price. And in fact, you can put, like I said, there's no reason why you couldn't put a, you know, you can pick up brushed motors with a replaceable brushes that are much faster. I just don't know how fast you could go without blowing out that ESC. I've got like a 12 turn I could throw in it, but I'm, I think, I think that'd be too much. But uh, anything like that is going to be it's going to be better than this uh, these cheap uh, brush motors that don't have the replaceable brushes. You know those these these do wear out. Uh, the brushes do wear out on these, and you can't replace them. I would be curious to see how this would do on brushes. I think it'd be pretty awesome, but I'm just afraid brushes would probably be too much power on those gears. Cause I don't know if it's got metal gears or plastic gears in it. Um, many of them are going to metal now, so that's good. Less likely to strip those, but uh, if you went with a, you know, a, a low KV 540 motor and 2S, you probably might be able to get by with it. Whoa! Oh, the 360. Hopefully I get, I'm gonna try to, hopefully here, and I probably would have noticed it by now. I'm gonna try to, to do some slow motion. I don't ever really do that. Pull the straw off the truck. So maybe we can get that in slow motion, or hopefully that was in slow motion. I figured out how to do it in my software. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this truck. I, I can't think of anything that I would complain about. I mean, I usually you could find something. I'm just kind of racking my brain here. I don't. Wheel filled shocks, 540 motor, well built, metal dog bones, nice big rubber tires, attractive uh, Luxon body, white LEDs in the front so you could drive it at night. I mean, man. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess you could could have tried to gear it a little faster, but I mean, I think for what this does, I mean, this is fast enough. I mean, uh, for a 540 motor like this, this is about right for this size truck. It's kind of peeling out a little bit in the water, but the four wheel drive, you know, it's giving it pretty good traction. And of course, four wheel drive is going to slow it down too. This is a two wheel drive, and that's something I didn't mention in the HBX ground crusher even though it's same size about and it's two-wheel drive that's one reason why it is fast even with the smaller motor because it's you know it's just turning the rear wheels so uh, that's gonna make a big difference getting quite a bit of straw from across the street whoa oh. a lot of people like the bastard trucks and it is cool but I I hate scarring up my the Lexan body. I like it all shiny and nice. And my ZD Racing 9106 truck, that body is so beat up. It's still together, but it's cracked and stuff. I mean, it's just, it's gonna happen, you know? But there'd be no, you could easily find bodies to fit this. This is a standard size. You might just have to drill holes for the, for the cotter pins spots this is just awesome I, I like this a lot I'm definitely gonna get this out with my daughter and uh, let her drive maybe the JGRC Madman or the HBX or something like that that's in this speed when we get some snow we'll drive these together the brushless is just too fast for her. she's only six but man she she loves driving these trucks it's really fun because I don't have just have three girls so uh I'm glad one of them likes to do this stuff. 
All right, well, I think we've probably seen enough. I mean, we've got a lot of jumps in there, some flips, show you how durable it is, you know. No sense just running this thing forever here and repeating it. You just give you an idea because, you know, it's kind of boring driving it in front of my house. So, you know, I wish I had a better place to drive it, but I don't really have one right now. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I think this is a really cool truck. I've probably said it a million times. I don't typically try to gloat too much on something, you know, um, Unless I really really like it and I really really do so it looks like I Lost a, a cotter pin or I forgot to put one in. I don't know <laughs> But there's extras of those so Hope you guys liked the review um, be sure to check the description or be a purchase link and I'll include the discount code if there is one For this one if it you know drop the price some more and I hope you guys have a good day The power of the dark side, side.